Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today it is the second video of this online course, Microcontroller Programming. And today's topic is uh, the journey covered by microcomputers uh, in the evolution of microcontroller. So let's start our topic. In last video, we discussed about digital systems and very common example of digital system is microcomputer or computer. The basic building block of microcomputer includes these parts. CPU, the central processing unit, which is also considered as uh, brain of microcomputer. The second thing is memory. It's like human memory in which he stores all the thinking processes, all the theories he learned from the, his environment. So similarly, microcomputer also stores his certain information in a chip, which is known as a memory. Third important integral part of microcomputer is input or output of the microcomputer. Uh, input is like uh, uh, you are asking a human being uh, about certain things. So if you want to ask a microcomputer, you need to program it and you need to program it for that particular task or for that particular information. And that programming is done by input. And when that microcomputer process it using its memory uh, data, uh, that processing is done by CPU and uh, the output is generated using output devices. So input output is integral component of microcomputer. We learned that CPU is like a human brain. So let's explore how it is a different from human brain. So to explore the question, we need to uh, compare the two things which are known as hardware and software. What is in hardware? Computer hardware includes CPU, memory chips, IO devices, nut bolts, or any uh, physical hardware that you can touch with your fingers. Programs, which are also known as software because collection of uh, programs are known as software. But what is a program? Program is an instruction by which you can uh, give certain uh, order to this hardware of computer, right? And this is done to accomplish certain task, right? And this is done by uh, using computer hardware and programmers are human beings who actually program this uh, hardware using this software programs. So programs can rewrite, can, can programmers can rewrite the programs to change the task, but it doesn't mean they are changing the hardware. They are not changing the hardware, rather they are using uh, the programs to change the task which can be accomplished by that specific hardware. So that is the key difference between the CPU and the human brain. Human brain doesn't, uh, human brain doesn't need certain inputs to change the uh, thinking capabilities. So human brain can think on, on its own, right, independently. But hardware, it requires certain softwares or collection of programs so that it can perform certain specified tasks. Let's come to the topic of the day, a journey to the microprocessor to the microcontroller right cpu is nowadays a simple chip a single integrated ic yes it is possible because of the advancement of semiconductor fabrication and that chip is simply known as microprocessor and microprocessor is very well known word for cpu but what cpu doesn't work independently microprocessor cannot work independently because it requires other peripheral devices like memory ios and other things right so here we actually dream for something which can hold all the things on a same chip this is the idea of microcontroller evolution and which is nothing but a single chip system that means everything should be present on a single chip like CPU, memory, IO port, ID conversion, or any other function which is needed should be present on the same chip. This is the idea of microcontroller. And PIC microcontroller, which is a subject of this course, is also example of microcontroller, right? PIC it stands for Peripheral Interface Controller, right? And this is microchips technology stream that it holding all the things in single chip and this is what people say about it. A system on a single chip is known as microcontroller, while a chip on a system is known as microprocessor. So that's it from this lecture. If you have any uh, question, please post in uh, comment section. Thank you so much for listening.